Hello, good people and data analysts. My name is Greg and I run dataindependent.com, a learning platform for data analysts all over the world. Now, I've been working with pandas for most of my career. And throughout that time, I come up with a few, we'll call it favorite functions. Not only are they really awesome, but they do a lot of work for you with relatively zero uh, overhead. So maybe it's one line of code or two lines of code. And today I wanna to go over the top 10 pandas functions and give you a preview about what they are. Now, if you like this material, go over to learn.dataindependent.com and you can see a full video with explanation as well as download this code for yourself and you can just run it right on Google Colab right here. Now, the last thing I'll say before we get started is that if you really enjoy this information, then I run an entire course called Excel to Pandas. And it's geared towards people who already know Excel, but want to up-level their skills to Pandas. Now, Excel is great and it's going to go really far, but if you're really going to upgrade and kind of up-level your career and gain that new skill set, I highly, highly recommend Pandas as the way to go. So here's a preview of the top 10 Pandas functions. The very first one that we'll see is going to be function number one, to CSV and read CSV. So the cool thing about this Colab notebook is you'll be able to actually expand out these cells and you can run them yourselves. Now here, for example, I'm pulling in data from a, um, just a URL, storing it in a data frame and then subsetting some columns, but then you can actually see the data right here and you can play with it all on your own on the Colab. And that link is going to be on the, uh, the it's a, just a free download, but the free download website. The rest of this tutorial will only be the overview or preview of these functions. So to read CSV, that's how you're going to get and write your data. Dot head, dot tail, and dot sample. Function number two. This is how you view your data, either the top, the bottom, or just a random sample of it. Uh, dot lock, dot I lock, and dot at. This is going to be how you're going to select your data or specific sets of data, you know, rows or columns. Function number four, group by and ag functions. This is how you're gonna consolidate your data and run aggregate functions on top of it. If any of you are familiar with pivot tables in Excel, this concept is almost exactly the same. Function number five, merge. If any of you are familiar with joins in SQL and you bring two tables together, or in English, you kind of just join two data sets, this is where pandas merge is gonna come into help, come into, um, come in handy. Function number six, you have iter rows and dot apply. Now they're both very similar in their output. They're all gonna do something to your rows, but they do it a little bit differently. Dot apply is gonna be a type of vectorization and it's gonna go really, really quick. Iter rows is gonna perform like a for loop. And in the full tutorial, you can actually see us do this for loop right here. And you can see what this code looks like. But this is really good for when you have something complicated and you wanna apply it to all of your different rows in your data frame. Function number seven, value counts. One of my personal favorites. So if you have a categorical column, meaning it's just a column with labels in it, like Monday, Tuesday, 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 Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, you can actually do value counts, which is gonna group by all those different labels, and it's gonna count the number of rows that satisfy each one of those labels. Super helpful for when you're trying to do exploratory data analysis on your data. Next, function number eight is dot is in. So what you'll do here is you use dot is in if you wanna see if the values of one column are in the list or column of another column. So it's super helpful to see where the overlap is between two data sets. Function number nine is gonna be dot unique and dot n unique. So it sounds like what it, it is what it sounds like and dot unique will return to you all of the distinct values in your column or in your data set. Now, n unique stands for number of unique. So let's just say you have eight distinct values. Well, dot unique will list out all of those eight distinct values, whereas dot n unique will just give you the number eight. So it's helpful to know how much uh, granularity there is to your data. Function number 10, our last one, is going to be dot to date time. So it may be just a little bit confusing, but you know how there's formats in Excel where you can format like a number or format like a piece of text? Well, there's also format like a date because then Excel knows that that is a date within that cell. 
Same thing with pandas. You need to tell it which of your columns are dates and which ones aren't. Sometimes you actually need to pull out the dates from your other columns. And two date time is extremely important in, in, for, you able, for you to be able to do that. And then I kind of lied, last one, there's a bonus one, function 11. In fact, I'm gonna label this one bonus bonus um, is going to be rolling. So with rolling, this is when you can think of this as your rolling three month average or rolling six month averages. It's kind of like group by where there's an aggregate function, but you're going to go through your data and you're going to be able to uh, call it sum up the last three months and then three months and then three months and then three months or take the average or take the minimum. And then, so it's super helpful for when you're going over iterations of your data and that is dot rolling because it's super impactful. So congratulations, those are the top 10 pandas functions that I use in my everyday career. And if you want a full tutorial and you wanna see all this code run in general, then head over to the link in the description. Feel free to uh, drop into the course and see if you like it. And uh, check out dataindependent.com if you have more questions on uh, pandas in general. Thank you very much.